Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're keeping well. I've come to Narnia this week. <laughs> if I find a wardrobe in the middle of this pine forest, I'm going in. I tell you, I'm just, I'm going. <laughs> it's magical, it's absolutely magical. Fantastic scenes, just incredible scenes. However, that's not the reason for today. Today's vlog is about picking up on the next block of woodland to the westerly side of this huge pine forest. And I've been looking at it on Google Maps. I'll pop it up on screen for you. There appears to be areas of what looks like mixed woodland. It's a different kind of canopy than the surrounding pine forest. So I'm extremely curious about it. I'm really intrigued by what kind of environment it is. But the woodland all around there and the trail leading south from there all look to be quite interesting to me. That's today's primary focus. I want to go and explore that area. I need to tick that chunk off this map. Back to Narnia. <laughs> I'm taking my time. I'm just having a slow walk, getting used to the environment. And as I find any compositions, I'm gonna crack some shots off. The next time I'll bring you back will be to show you the open area, what it looks like, what kind of forest it is, and how much snow there is in there, because where it's open, we've got an awful lot of snow covering and then inside the woodland. It smells like Christmas, man. It's unbelievable how the frost brings out the smell of pine. It's so strong this morning. But it's lovely, it's just lovely. Wish you were here, one at a time. Okay, enough waffle. Pick my gear up, make a move, catch you in a little while. I'll stop the crunchy feet. I think this is the beginning of the uh, clearing area that I could see on Google Maps. Oh, it's Baltic, it's absolutely Baltic. Mm. It is mixed. We've got, wow, an array of different trees. Pines to my left. Looks like a small pine plantation straight ahead. Now behind me, silver birch, oak, chestnut, beech, Oh, it really is an assault on the senses. There's, uh, it's a different landscape. It's like going to a different planet. And uh, so silent. Oh, wow. No birds. Very little wind. I'm going to find a wardrobe in a minute. I know I am. So how do I evaluate this? Just getting in here. Well, the right hand side's impassable because we've got lots of, uh, lots of this sticky spiny stuff. It would just rip me to pieces trying to walk through this. These boys aren't soft either. And they are razor sharp. Beautiful fog on the horizon. You can see it and then we get some cloud in the sky. My mind is working overtime, as you can tell. I'm evaluating everything. I'm thinking about where I can go, what my options are, what the light's doing, compositions, this tree here's lovely. So it's an assault on the senses. There's so much to take in. I'm fearful I'm gonna miss something. I'm always looking behind me and I'm, I'm a lot more hyper, absorbed in the environment. It, it, it takes up a lot more of my thinking to evaluate where I am, what I'm doing. And that's the reason I'm saying this is because in producing these series of Pine Forest Explore videos, I'm not shooting shots that, that I consider portfolio shots or anything like that. That's not my goal. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to explore the place. I'm here to capture snaps of this place as notes. They're reference for me. And when I look back through a Lightroom catalogue, which I regularly do, 
I can see signs of what, what I saw of note whilst I was here. What does it offer me? And that encourages me sometimes to go back and then it becomes a place I visit regularly. And then I really dig into the environment and I start, start extracting other stuff. And that's the purpose of today. It's about the exploration, the adventure, and about trying to find some notes, photographic notes. That's all it was. I just wanted to share that. Interesting, interesting subject to think about how we change our shooting between known and unknown places. And maybe there's something to cultivating that, evaluating it and thinking about it a little. I don't know. I can't believe how quiet it is. It's incredibly, incredibly quiet. So this place then, uh, I don't have a composition for you, but I'm sure I'll find something shortly. When I do, I'll bring you back, explain my thoughts, and then carry on, see what else is down here. That's where we're going. Need to find where the, there's a, a trail I should cut across us somewhere. I've not found it yet. So down there somewhere. If you don't do this, as a photographer, put a pin in a map and just go explore. I wholeheartedly recommend it. Incredibly challenging, but if you reduce your expectations and think about it as photographic notes rather than portfolio shots, smash in. Last bit of sky, and then I'm going to stop me waffling, and I'm going to mosey on. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. direction is where that clearing is that I identified on Google Maps. It's not a clearing, it's just not a clearing. It's 
uh, it's young trees and spiny stuff and you're not going to get in there it's that simple i've looked all around and all i have open to me there are the main trails which are beautiful don't get me wrong but they're just trails there's nothing there's nothing about them that excites me in the slightest i was hoping to get some open shots into you know a, a tree line or a mixed wood get some different patterns on the different kinds of branches and so on that hasn't that hasn't happened and it's not going to it's not that kind of environment i can't be disappointed i'm exploring this place it's just not what i imagined it's just not what i imagined <laughs> it's just not what i imagined <laughs> and as a result i'm not finding compositions how can i not be finding compositions on a day like today the first time in three years i've had snow I'm going to be, uh, yeah, discussing that with myself a little bit today, I think. I've taken some shots. I don't have anything to really stick a fork in and say, this composition, X, Y, Z. And I'm not, going to, I'm not going to make it up. I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to pretend to have a composition I don't have just to fill video, video space up. I'm not going to try and share something just, just for the heck of it. I'm not going to waste your time and I'm, I'm not going to waste mine. I might, I might find something yet, I'm sure I will. I've got a long way to go, so that's where we're headed. Down there, it goes a bit wonky donkey. It does change in satellite terms. Google Maps shows it's, it's quite different down that way, so my hopes are high that we'll find something. And uh, yeah, that's about all I have for this little mini update. I wanted to bring you composition. And I've just took a shot. I took a shot on this guy. Very central with this, this one on the right, this one on the left, and then flanked further back and some nice misty wood, this snowy path, foggy sky. And on camera, let's turn the volume up. I shot at F8, I also tried F2, but I'm just playing around with the, the wide open aperture. I was at exposure ISO 50. Centrally composed the tree. Horizon at the bottom thirds, a very standard, very plain, very ordinary shot. It is what it is, as beautiful as it is. I still don't know what to say to you. <sighs> there are compositions everywhere. I can't lie, I could shoot, I could shoot overhanging fern branches with some snow on. I could shoot some of the forest floor here where we've got all these uh, brambles covered in snow and little bushy things like there's a chap just here but I don't have the background and this chap's just got some nice contrast there where you know you could maybe find a compass. I'm not doing it, <laughs> not, not forcing it. I'll either find a composition that I've got some actually invested interest in or I won't and if I don't so be it and on that note I'm gonna march on keep going and hopefully bring you back in a little while with a composition I quite like and if I don't then I'll at least come back let you know a gallery's going up of the images I've shot today so you can judge what you think to the images that I've caught so far and uh, I'd be interested to know how you find these very rare weather events, how overwhelming or how difficult do you find them? Because I certainly am doing. As much of it is me as it is the environment, I'm not gonna to be too harsh on myself today. Enough waffle. I'm out of here, I'll see you in a minute. It's took me ages to get a really short distance. I keep getting the trail blocked by these snow covered branches. But I just can't get through, look. I'm not going back, there's no way. Now this is way down here at waist height. So if you just give them a, a spring out of the way. So all the way down this trail, every three foot, I'm having to stop, shake the snow off, move another three foot and <laughs> rinse and repeat. Great way to spend the morning. There's another one going back. 
and make it under there. The problem with this is as you bend down, you just get it catched your backpack and you get snow down your neck. Really is like no one here this morning. Where's that wardrobe? I think I'll take a shot of this fella. The sky is really foggy now. It's getting really quite dense. It gives us a little bit of contrast. I can play with that a little bit easier. Okay, so shooting this guy. On camera, I'm shooting at uh, f8. I like to get a little bit of this foreground and some of the background in focus. So f8 gives me a sensible depth of field. Um, I actually shot 0.3 of a stop overexposed simply because the sky is so grey at ISO 50. Just centrally composed the tree, had a little bit of the snow in the bottom for a bit of foreground interest and then let it gently fade away. Something I can play around with in post. He's got a lovely, a lovely shape to him with this split trunk and then the, the, the quite symmetrical branches coming off all the way up. Quite a nice tree that. Okay, that's a composition. Let's see if we can get one more. I'll see you in a minute. Finally made it through. Path I need to join here. It takes me down to the route back to the car. Uh, I came across this fella. Lovely silver birch. But some beautiful rusty colours on that trunk. Really, really nice. And then with a little bit of snow in the background and the whites, uh, I think the contrast on this shot is going to be quite nice. I uh, placed the base of this trunk right in the bottom right hand corner below the bottom thirds. Got these two trees in the background that just fade away into the snow and the mist and then this one at the front is going to be nice and contrasty. I shot this at f8 again. I was at exposure ISO 50. I'm quite looking forward to post processing this one. Yes, I am. And I'm pleased I've got rid of all these overhanging branches. It's broke my back, shaking all that snow off. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave it here for today. I'm not going to push on harder anymore. If I find anything, I'll take some shots and I'll certainly share a gallery with you now. Hopefully I've got a couple of nice images in there worth, worth uh, looking at. Right, okay then folks. Until next week when I'm going to jump over into that next plot it's a bit further than i wanted to venture but i think it will be interesting so i hope you join me for that and uh, until then i'm going to say thank you very much for watching please take care of one another and as ever if you can't be good just be careful i'll see you very soon take care bye for now our eyes are closed when we start this loop on repeat Just how it beats when you put your hands on me Time goes fast but yet so slow I leave all thoughts, yeah, I let them go Cause I'm here with you Sorry, mate. Oh, that made me jump.